Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of The Trainer Talk. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of having mentors in your life. Um, if you were to, if you want to live a healthier lifestyle, let's say, um, you want to try to start making yourself a priority and changing your healthy habits, things like that. There's a lot of things that you're going to have to start incorporating into your life and that you'll have to learn about. So obviously one of them is working out. Um, second one, nutrition. A lot of people know those two. Um, some other ones that people don't really put a lot of effort in is going to be like sleep and hydration in your daily routines and mindset. Um, even changing your environment. We did a whole podcast about just your environment in general. So there's a lot of different things that people have to learn about um, to start making their, themselves live a healthier lifestyle. So working out, um, if you were to go out and try to learn this stuff on your own, for example, you're going to have to learn how to properly do all the form and technique. So probably watching videos on YouTube or Instagram of professionals performing all the lifts. You're going to have to go get a gym membership and then start practicing. Um, something that I had to do was like videotape my lifts to see how I did it and then compare it. And then you had to go back and forth and back and forth. And it takes a long time to kind of learn the form and techniques. And you're going to go through a lot of failures that way of not doing things right. Um, it can just kind of take a while. Uh, I'll let Bethany talk about the nutrition side, maybe what you have to learn with the nutrition and then the accountability routines, things like that with Caitlin. So. Yeah, I think nutrition can be kind of a tricky one. Just with all the information and the different diets that are out there, um, finding – out what the facts are and what really the fundamentals of all diets are is probably the biggest thing but it's one of the things that you almost come to after trying everything so after you've done the intermittent fasting after you've tried keto low carb uh, high carb low fat you know carnivore all these different things after you've kind of tried everything or you've been exposed to everything and you I have experience with all these different modes of dieting, you know, macros versus clean eating, paleo, you kind of see the overarching theme of all of them. What makes all the diets work? Even though there's a lot of different ways to get there, ways to lose the weight, what's the fundamentals behind it? And it takes a lot of time if you do it on your own to kind of sift through everything mm -hmm. and figure out okay, these are like the pillars of every diet and this is what makes diets work. And then you have to circumnavigate, okay, well then what one works best for me? Because you could try a lot of them, but a lot of them probably won't work for you because, you know, you're a square peg and you're trying to fit yourself into a round hole. It's just not going to happen. So trying all these different, it's a lot of trial and error, kind of with like exercise yeah. And, you know, Taylor said he recorded himself when learning new movements and stuff like that. Um, that's one thing that can kind of come with nutrition is, you know, doing this method. And if that doesn't work for you, okay, well, what could make it work for you? Or what would you, what would you like from this way of eating? And then you could transfer it to another way of like, okay, well, maybe you like the paleo or you like the intermittent fasting and then you want to translate it with something else you know maybe you want to incorporate that in a more sustainable way that fits you so i think it is a lot of trial and error if you just kind of go out and find all these different techniques because let's be honest there's a lot of different yeah. things it's, out it's there it's gonna take you a really long time yeah right? it's a long time to like sort through all the uh i guess all the fad diets that are out there and find out what the actual true diet that works best for you is. Yeah, and the thing is like you don't know what you don't know. And there, there just are, there's so many things. And that's kind of what I was gonna say is like the internet, it can be a good resource and it can be a mentor at times if you kind of know like what you're looking for. But if you have absolutely no idea of like where to, like if you just Google like, you know, how to lose weight they, like based on nutrition you're gonna get some fad diet because we just live in a world of diet culture that it just has gone the wrong way and yes that diet might work for you for a little bit but it's not gonna work for you in the long run and so that's where you need a mentor to kind of tell you exactly like what Bethany was saying what your specific body needs to get the results that you want yeah for sure and so basically what it comes down to is 
you're gonna if you do, try to go on your own you can definitely get to where you want to be uh, it's gonna take a lot of trial and error and it's gonna take a lot of time and a ton of effort and energy because you're gonna have to do your own research mm -hmm. you're gonna have to try all these things out and typically it takes at least two three four months for something to be like a long enough case study to see if something's yeah. going to last yeah. and actually change your life. So you can't just try these things for 15 days or 30 days and say, yep, that's the plan I need. I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. You need to actually stick to it for longer. So doing all these things, it does take a long time. And even when you go at it on your own, you have your gym membership, you find a plan on the internet to follow for nutrition, like you're still not incorporating the other habits that you need, such as sleep, hydration, cleaning up your environment. Like if you, you could be eating as good as you want, but if your family's got potato chips and candy bars and ice cream in the freezer, you're most likely going to fail at your nutrition plan and give up at some point. Um, your mindset. So having somebody help you with your mindset, there's nobody there motivating you. Um, there's nobody there, you know, explaining and highlighting your victories and what you are doing well. So now we'll kind of get into like the benefits of having a mentor. So for example, I kind of just started off naming a few. Having a mentor, it's going to be like a fast track. You're going to skip through all that trial and error of the workouts and the nutrition. We'll be able to have a conversation with you, figure out exactly what your goals are, and then prescribe you with what workout program you need and what nutrition plan you need that's going to be sustainable. So, Because at the end of the day, you want something that you can do to create a lifestyle change, to transform you from an unhealthy person to a healthy person. So you identify as a fit and healthy person. And that takes a little bit of time, but you can cut it down by years and years and years with a mentor, for example. So not only that, but mentors are great accountability coaches. So holding you accountable and kind of going with you through the journey of your workouts, your nutrition, helping you plan out your days and weeks so that you are staying on track and you adopt the right habits and create a routine for yourself. A lot of people just are all over the place with their schedules. They don't know when they're going to work out. They don't know when they're going to meal plan. They don't know what to make, how much to make. So we or mentors, I should say, help you with all of those aspects of your life, kind of get you into um, basically creating a plan to simplify your life and schedule it out so that you know exactly what to do and when to do it. So those are kind of the benefits of having a mentor. Um, and now we kind of want to talk about like what we've done in our own lives as um, using mentors to help us mm -hmm. too. So yeah, and I think a big thing just to like add on to that is it takes the guesswork out of it. Yeah, because going in on your own, you have you have to kind of guess and do a lot of trial and error, and you get frustrated. One thing for having mentors or having someone that's almost like an objective observer of what you're doing is a huge aspect of having a mentor, and that's what I've experienced with myself because. People, we all have our own, you know, biases. We all see each other or see ourselves in a different way. Um, you know, we might just heavily focus on all the negative things and like forget all the positive things we did. And having a mentor or someone outside of it look in on our situation and like be very objective about it. That's honestly one of the biggest things because they can sort through they don't have all of your like emotional ties or any of your biases towards you know um snacking or any different like habits bad habits because we can all kind of you know we find a way to like rationalize to ourselves or we end up self-sabotaging and one way to do that like having that mentor can be they can be very objective and look at the things that led up to that and they can say okay well your environment sets you up to leading to a self-sabotage, you know, leads you to snacking, leads you to, you know, reach for that cake or cookies, whatever's there on the shelf, because that's what's leading to it. It's not because you're undisciplined, unmotivated, all these different things. It's more of a product of your environment rather than the, your environment being a product of you, of your goals and what you're looking for. So having a mentor, um, I'll just kind of use like Taylor's an, an ex as an example that would be for when I started CrossFit. When I kind of started, uh, I started a little bit just like power cleans, 
with a men's bar and it wasn't an Olympic weightlifting bar. And I was like, this CrossFit stuff is hard and it's stupid because I had, I had these weight, they were like metal plates on either side. And I was doing like 65 pounds because I found a CrossFit workout on the internet. And like I'd watched all the CrossFit games, athletes go and stuff. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll try this. And I'm like trying it with a men's, it's rusty men's bar from this old gym that I used to go to. And I was like, this is you know, like this is way harder than they made it look. And well, of course, they're the, they're the professionals, right? They should make it look easy. And, you know, coming here and having the right environment and having that mentor of him saying like, okay, well, this is what you need to do for power cleans. This is what you need to do for kipping pull-ups, you know, use a band and you got to use your hips. And, you know, it just helps to have someone there that knows way more than you do. And, you know, you can look stuff up on the internet and compare and everything like that, but it's way better to get that feedback like in person right away. And, you know, it sends the trajectory way faster. You know, having that initial of like doing workouts side by side, being able to see what he does and then, you know, kind of copying certain habits of, oh, okay, this is what he does for nutrition, different things like that. And having that guidance, having, you know, almost like a role model for whatever you're going for can really help just by painting the picture of like, this is where I want to be. This is where I am. And then looking at the difference in habits and lifestyle and saying, okay, this is what I need to get there basically. Yeah. So for me, like my kind of personal experience with mentors, um, when I first started working out, I did it on my own. Um, it was, I would watch videos and follow some programs, but it took me years to like, perfect. I mean, you never perfect something, but to perfect um, a workout routine. And like, then I went to school for it and learned even more. And I guess that would be kind yeah, of like a mentor with yeah. school. But before that, I was on and off for years because I would give up because I'd be frustrated that I wasn't seeing results or it was hard or I didn't know what I was doing. And it was just like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, once I went to school and um, actually stuck to programs, that's when I kind of learned a lot more and became um, better at working out. And then when I came here, um, Taylor and Bethany were both mentors for me when it came to CrossFit. And I feel like I picked up on CrossFit a lot quicker than I picked up on any other workout routine or type of workout that I had ever tried because I had people right there next to me watching me, telling me exactly what to do, how to do it, um, and stuff like that. So that was way more helpful. I learned a lot quicker. I started CrossFit and then not even six months later com did the open, the CrossFit open, which I never imagined that I could, but I did decent in it because again, I had people telling me exactly what to do. Um, another kind of mentor that I've had is um, working with um, like more of a holistic doctor when it comes to an autoimmune disease that I have. Um, and because I remember when I got diagnosed, I, my doctor basically told me like, you're screwed. Like you're going to be in misery the rest of your life. You're going to be on all these medications. You're like just not going to be able to do a lot of the things that you were doing before. Um, and so that was frustrating. And for a long time, I was trying to do my own research on how, what to eat, what not to eat, like what to do for exercise and all that stuff. And then I finally found like more of a holistic naturopathic doctor who also has gone through this disease and has um, just more knowledge than I do on how to just kind of overcome that. And she worked with me on my specific body because everyone's different. So mentors are awesome. They, you just, I just think everybody needs them for every single thing that you go through in life. Yeah, for sure. And I like that you, like, it sounds like based off what you said, like you said, I didn't think I could do the open. Mm -hmm. So I think aside from just learning everything faster, we were able to help you realize what you were capable mm -hmm. of so that yeah. in that comes in the mindset part of it like a lot of people just don't believe in themselves they don't believe that they can do this or that they kind of tell themselves oh i'm not strong enough for that or you know i can't do what you can do and then after you know talking and showing somebody what they're capable of all of a sudden they realize oh i can do this so that was a cool shift um that we've noticed like when we mentor people is they really shift the mindset as well um, but 
from my own experience, I've had a lot of different mentors. And mentor doesn't need to be just somebody in person. Um, it could be somebody that you watch on YouTube every single day. I've had a ton of mentors that, you know, YouTube, podcasts, reading books, those are all versions of a mentor. But obviously, in person is going to be the best. Um, but I've had a couple of different good examples of the power of having a mentor. So when I was learning or starting out with working out, I was following a program offline and just learning as I went. And for, I started out with bodybuilding and I you know, learned over time. It probably took years and years and years to really get good at stuff. When I started CrossFit, like I mentioned in the beginning, I was videotaping and watching and comparing it to people that could do it really well. Um, my mentor at the time was Rich Froning, who's like the fittest guy on earth. I decided I wanted to do CrossFit because he motivated me to do it. And I didn't really know how to do it. So I was videotaping and watching, videotaping and watching. And what's really cool now is I'm the mentor for like high school athletes and for these guys. And especially for the high school athletes, like showing them what they're capable of and seeing how fast they progress. Mm -hmm. Like some of these kids are very impressive at a very young age. And I just tell me, I just think to myself, I wish I had a mentor when I was their age to teach me how to do that. Like I, if I could go back, I would want to learn what they are learning. So it's very cool because you kind of get that jump start. You shave off years of trial and error and things when you do invest into a mentorship. And as far as the gym goes, there's another big one that I talk, I talk to these guys a lot about is, um, you know, I took over the gym when I was 23 and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Um, I just knew I wanted to own a gym and I knew that if I didn't do it, that the chances of it still being here would be very slim. So I knew I had to do something. So I took over the gym and I had to learn, okay, how do I run a gym? So I've hired probably three or four different mentors over the last four or five years. And I've invested tens of thousands of dollars to learn how to provide value to our clients and members, get them good results, um, how to help them and grow a gym to get people in the door. Um, it, you know, it took marketing and, and coming up with programming and all kinds of different things that I had to learn how to do. But if I didn't do that, there's a very good chance that this gym wouldn't even be here, especially these two standing next to me, if I hadn't made that investment and hired a mentor. So Bethany said this before, uh, the talk started, you can either buy your results with time or you can buy it with money. You can invest into a mentor and you know the time it, you can still get there, but it's going to take a very, very long time. Um, if you just invest into mentorship, you can bypass all that time, the trial and error, and you can get to where you want to be a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So it's all about how much you value that. So if you're somebody that really values your health and fitness in your life, and you don't know where to start or what to do, that is where the power of mentoring comes in handy. And that's what we consider ourselves is, you know, a lot of people think um, that we're just a gym that you can come and work out in and we have some classes and we do a little bit of personal training and it goes way beyond that. I think the training, the workouts is about 10% of what we do. We actually care a lot about helping our clients and members change their lifestyle. Like our mission here at TH Fitness is to help people change their lifestyle and live that healthy and happy lifestyle. So becoming a fit and healthy person as an identity is kind of our goal, which needs to incorporate all those habits that we talked about outside of the four walls of the gym. Your daily routines, your mindset, your environment, your nutrition, all those come into play, your sleep, your hydration. So that's what we help people with. Um, so if that sounds like something that you need help with, don't be afraid to look into or talk to somebody that could help you get started. And we are always here to help people with that exact thing. Do you guys want to add anything to this? Real quick, uh, when looking for mentors, the biggest thing is to look for someone that one is very successful or at the top of their field. Like you want to look for the best of the best because they honestly, they've had the most experience helping people. They're going to be the person that's most likely going to help you to get to where you want to go the fastest and in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. And then two, don't just listen to, like you can have a mentor, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be a good mentor. You know, like you can find some sort of like Instagram influencer who would be your mentor or your life coach, but you know, you're giving them 
however many dollars a month, but they might not actually know how to coach someone to the level that some way more experienced, way more qualified person. So look for someone that's done some sort of training or they have a lot of rapport with other people that are recommending them and speak very highly of them. I think that's a big thing to look for. Yeah, that's a great point. So don't listen to the guy that's in the gym when he's giving you a bunch of recommendations and tips on how to do stuff. If he's not a qualified like trainer or coach, um, there's a lot of people that do that. They have a lot of influencers on social media that recommend all kinds of things, um, but they might not necessarily be a professional in their field. So definitely be careful with that. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, you know, I think we have experience, like we teach the habits and the routines and everything that we've trialed and aired, mm -hmm. you know, like we've all gone through our trial and error, not only schooling and actually going through the process of learning nutrition and workouts and all that stuff, but we've also trial and aired and we're constantly learning and we are kind of our, each other's mentor. Like we meet every Friday here, we go over, everything that we do on a weekly basis and we try to make each other better. So we kind of mentor each other, which is very, very cool. So surround yourself with people that are like-minded and have similar goals and start living that healthier lifestyle and making those changes. So if this helps you, hopefully it did, um, like and subscribe so you can see all of our other videos. And if you need help, if you are interested in mentorship for health and fitness, Specifically, reach out to us and we'll sit down with you and see if one of our programs is going to be a good fit. Until the next video, um, stay healthy, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.